Today I am attempting to do something so crazy. So wild. You get it? Wild. I'm sorry. I'm joining a wolf pack. Or at least attempting to join a wolf pack. We'll see how it goes. Wolves are apex predators at the very top of our food chain. They can be up to seven feet tall, run at 40 miles an hour, have a sense of smell a hundred times stronger than a human's, and there's even legends that man and wolf were once best friends. But now wolves are actually going extinct because they are too dangerous. <laughs> So naturally, I've decided to come all the way out here, feed them. Normally, I just make like pasta. <laughs> Sleep with them, train with them, and attempt to join them. Let's do it. This is so cool. Take a picture for my mom. I am incredibly honored to be here with Steve and Paula, the founders of this beautiful organization, Apex Protection Project. This is one of the best days of my entire life. And I've done some pretty cool stuff, but spending 48 hours with wolves may top all of them. We're going on a hike with Riggs and Thor. They're actually gonna be able to be off leash, just roaming. Is that because we're leaving? Put it on as if you're doing They know. I can't like imagine. The second we got to the door. Yeah. After our first wolf hike, we got to do what I was most excited for, which was stepping into the enclosures. It's All up in that hair. It's like a massage. Now you've left. That's your my butt. Yeah, he's very big. Okay, okay, that's a lot. <laughs> gentle, <gasps> gentle with the teeth. <laughs> He's huge. His head is like double the size of your head. <laughs> oh my Mama. goodness. Oh my goodness, you're just a baby. So he's here because someone bought him to be a pet and they quickly realized that wolves should not be pets and don't thrive in a house and don't thrive in that in that way. He's just living his Wait. best life. <laughs> living his best life. He's living his best life. It's important that because these guys were born in captivity, kind of against their will, not their nature to live in a human world, but it's our job to do whatever we can to make them as comfortable as possible in the human world that they're forced to live in because we can't release them to the wild. It's yeah. illegal. And they also did not receive the teaching from their elders to survive in the wild. Gen <laughs> That is not a pet. I love you. It was actually incredible to see how loving and playful some of them were, while others were so afraid of us that they stayed as far away as they could. What we're gonna do is you're just gonna follow me. We're gonna go up and walk over to that corner. We're just gonna sit right there and observe this is little rogue. She's the mama, and so you're gonna see her guarding her family, making sure we're behaving ourselves. We're in the high desert, so the weather is beautiful in the spring and winter, but the summer can get really hot, so we have air conditioners in each room that we can turn on for the hottest hour. We'll stay in here for a little while to let them kind of get used to us. It does take a few minutes for them to settle in. Gray is dominating right now. He's kind of exerting a little dominance with, with Neo. This is not a sexual behavior, it's a dominance behavior. Wow. He's testing Neo, but he's also teasing him. He's doing it in kind of more lighthearted way. Somebody chase Gray! Yeah. Somebody chase, get him! Who she get him? Neo, get Gray! Yeah. Get Gray, somebody! Yes, bro, get him! Yes, bro! Ah, yes, buddy! <laughs> I had no idea what to expect coming into this, but it was way better than I could have imagined. It's seriously been one of the best experiences I've ever had. And honestly, I love being covered in wolf saliva. Did you make a friend? This is Thor. He's the alpha. Wolves do not normally belong on a couch, but at Apex, we make exceptions. Do you want to hear some wolf jokes? <laughs> what do you call a wolf that's knowledgeable about climate change and a werewolf? All I thought it was funny. Why did the wolf cross the road? Oh no. Because he was chasing the chicken. <laughs> oh. Oh. Next, it was time to feed them, and I decided I wanted to get fully hands on. We get donated ground beef, and then we mix all of their supplements into it, and then she's weighing out the just food, the ground, and then the raw. Wow. And then at night, they get a, a kibble that's designed, formulated specifically for wolves. Oh, oh yum. yum. Yummy. Oh. <laughs> go, Lexi, go. <laughs> go. 
Normally I just make like pasta, <laughs> pies. We make some badass pies, me and Sophia. I'll just set this up. Hot. Paula taught us everything we needed to do properly to feed them since they aren't able to be in the wild. We had to throw in a bunch of supplements to make sure they're getting as much nutrients as they would be in the wild. And after about two hours and very filthy hands, we finally had the meals ready. We weren't allowed to feed them ourselves. That takes months of training and trust with the wolves, but we at least got to watch. And then once the wolves were fed, we got to go back in and spend more time with them to try to further create that bond so that hopefully by the end of this video, I can be a part of the pack. Loki and I keep locking eyes and having these moments and I can tell that he wants to be friends, but he's still so terrified of me. So my goal for tomorrow is to finally bond with him. Hashtag foreshadowing, hashtag maybe, hashtag maybe not, hashtag hopefully. I feel like it's so special having these moments with animals that, you know, we're giving them time to come to us, to warm up to us. This is all on their terms. What are you doing? What are you doing, Greg? I like my hair better like that too. Thank you, thank you. Does that mean I can join the pack? I kind of feel like we're becoming part of the pack. Oh, y'all thought I couldn't do it. Yeah, y'all y'all probably clicked on this video like, ain't no way she's joining the pack. I feel safer here than in a high school cafeteria. My mom's like, please be careful. I'm like, what's the worst thing that could happen? We're gonna sleep with them tonight, but I feel like that's gonna be a really big bonding moment and a really big step in becoming part of the pack. It's time to sleep with the wolves. It's 1 a.m. We had way too much fun staying up with Steve and Paula. Got my sleeping bag ready. Even the wolves are looking at you like you're insane. A few moments later. I thought you were sleeping outside. So we ended up inside. <laughs> Turns out it gets like really cold out there and the wolf kind of kept snuggling. <laughs> Good morning, best morning ever. I might have to quit my job and move move here. Things in a wolf dog house that just make sense. A metal couch, a literal bite, I'll be sofa. a chain link fence to protect the food. Not to mention lots of wolves. Oh, and lots of wolf pictures. Everywhere, and then the real wolves. And then the couch wolves. <laughs> it's Kona hike time. We haven't met Kona yet. We haven't met Kona. So this is our first time meeting them. Kona is one of the OGs, and he's gotten a little uh, grumpier, let's say in his old age. He's a rebel without a cause. And, uh, he's a little bit on the emo side. Does he also like screamo music? <laughs> it probably does, yeah. I have been very not worky outy lately. This is good for me. I'll be right there, guys. I'm fine. We just got back from the first 45 minute hike. We were immediately getting on another 45 minute hike. No, I'm, I'm coming, I'm coming. Thor, who is our alpha, which some people think means like the toughest, baddest wolf in the yard. That's not what it means. Alpha literally means the nurturer, the protector, the parent. It's the best wolf suited for that position. Rama got here one week ago. This is really cool because we are gonna get to see Thor teach him the reins in the most incredible wolfy way. <laughs> Thor is gonna be a good teacher. Thor is, might look vicious in that moment, but he's actually very, very gentle. And he's teaching him that he's in charge and he's accepting it. You know, coming into this, I didn't know that much about wolves. I thought they were so cool and so beautiful. I really had no clue and no grasp on the actual war um, that they're under right now across across the world. The three main states, the wolves exist, being uh, Wyoming, Montana, and Idaho, they are not federally protected. And the truth is that no one really has an accurate count on how many wolves there are in, in the states right now. We do know, however, that they are being massacred at an incredible rate, and they can kill them in all kinds of extreme ways. What's a way that people at home can take action? Obviously, one of the main ways is to support our work and sign a petition when, when we put out a call to action. And then when it comes to wolf 
dogs, please don't get one. Please don't believe that these animals make good pets because they don't. People make this mistake all the time and because of that, so many of these guys end up dying. Most shelters are not really able to rehome wolf dogs or release them, so they are euthanized. Making this video and having this incredible experience, I hope you guys feel like you've learned about wolves and I hope you feel inspired and empowered to save lives. If you do want to donate, I will link that down below. I did make a donation. I didn't want to film it. I feel weird filming donations. I don't know why. It just, it feels so cheesy to me. It is so incredibly expensive to feed these guys and sometimes people really only do donations when they're pups. Every single one of these wolf dogs would probably not be alive right now if Steve and Paula weren't dedicating their entire lives to these animals. I want to have a friendship with Loki so badly. Maybe because he's been the hardest to get close with. You're letting me get really close. He was, guys, he was so petrified of me. This is so special. I know that was really hard for you. And I feel so honored that you trusted me. I'm probably going to cry in the car on the way home. <laughs>